Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to install Windows Media Center in 2024. So now, so now you don't need those zip files anymore like I did in my last video back a couple of years ago. Also, my channel's been turned three years old, so yay. Um, so actually, all you need is this Windows setup file, this WMC setup file that uh, Gary and who set up in, the, in some form. All you need to do is just download that, and then this instruction gives you everything that you need to do. So, now I'm going to open up the file, and so, as you can see, it's WMC setup-x64.msi. Uh, Just open it up. And it's going to make sure you have everything installed. If you don't have Microsoft DVD player installed, it's going to ask you if you wish to download it. I'm going to click yes. And it's even going to take you back to his GitHub to download it. So then now, what I have to do is go to my programs, go to this thing right here. And then now it's going to configure the Microsoft DVD app installation. So it's going to give you a pop-up uh, asking if you will allow this app to, from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device. Uh, you'll see a little picture on the screen right here. Um, and you just click yes. So now what you're going to do is that you're just going to wait. And then if you check and see if the DVD player is installed, then you can just open up the app. And then now you get this nice instruction manual of Windows Media Center Setup Wizard. So you can just click uh, next. Oh, also warning, this installation package was created using the community that created the Windows Media Center installation uh, version 8.8.5. It might not work on future releases of Windows, which, which can also disable uh, stuff in Windows Media Center. So be aware that if you update and if it doesn't work, like if something doesn't work, you can always go and repair the installation. You just like you you know where you go to like your your uninstalls. You can just go and click the uh, repair thing, and it'll repair it and make sure everything's good to go, and then you can use it. So now we're gonna open up. We're gonna click next, and it's gonna ask you where you want it. So I'm gonna do the regular. Now it says it's ready to install. Now it's gonna give you. This thing by Gary Ryan. It's the F0DEVB5.msi revolution verifier. Gary Ryan, just click yes. And now you have to wait for it to install. And depending on your computer, it's probably just finished. So you can just click close. And then now you can go here and now you have Windows Media Center. So we're going to open it up and uh, make sure everything works. So as you can see, everything works. You can just click continue, click express. And now you have Windows Media Center. So if you want recorded TV, that actually takes a few more steps, but I think you might be able to just get it working. But uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's really short, but now you don't need that zip file that I had in my last video. And uh, I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys liked it, you guys can like and subscribe, and I will see you guys later. Bye.